Well, I was moving my trailer and I saw a copperhead. He's pretty smart. He just crawled into poison ivy. I don't want to go into it. But I also need to relocate him. Hey, Mr. Copperhead. Wow, surprisingly fat, huh? Got to work quick. He's loose. Found the saw here. What the Texas Copperhead looks like. Hey, Captain Donaldson, how are you? Hey, hey. Hey, I was gonna see if you weren't doing anything about, oh, maybe about an hour. Um, yeah, let me call you right back. I have a copperhead in my hands. Oh, good times. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I'm just setting, I'm relocating them. There you go. Uh, don't get me on you. No, sir. No, sir. Call, right, you, call you right back. Day. Yes, sir. Bye now. So, this guy is uninjured, beautiful. He's got a little mouthful of dirt, but as you'll see in just a second, he's, uh, he's quite alive. Are they fast striking? Nah, if... They're not as fast as rattlesnakes for sure, they're slower striking, but I want to get away from the head as quickly as possible. There you go, buddy. They're really beautiful. Nature's beautiful. And for the most part, it will leave you alone if you leave it alone, but in this case, I just gotta relocate. I got too many little doggies and a wife who doesn't really like snakes. So you have a good day. Now, I could have taken his head off, but why? Really, seriously. Everybody has their own personal approach to snakes, spiders, whatever. Uh, for me, non-fatal relocation. If it's a rattlesnake, it's gotta go, sorry. They're too fast, too, too deadly, and uh, not gonna do it. Ooh, hey, unbelievable, this must be round two. We got, uh, it's like mama here, or daddy, looking for the baby. Okay, here we go, whoop. There we go, here we go. Whoa, okay, all right, here we go, I gotcha. Right behind the head. There we go. Oh. Shit. That's a stick. Oh man, that's embarrassing. I gotta. You know what? These aren't these aren't prescription. I came out without my readers. Where are my reading glasses? Best just to leave them alone if you can. Just let them slither away. You make noise, they're gonna go. They're more afraid of you than you are of them. Uh, that's what they say. I don't know how they know what snakes are feeling. But uh, Captain Donaldson, who just called, he said the best way to deal, especially with venomous predators like rattlesnakes, he watched a rattlesnake go through a field uh, around some cows. And they all got along. The cows didn't freak out. The snake didn't freak out. He said very eloquently, I think it's important to not get too happy or too sad around, <laughs> around uh, venomous snakes. And that's so well put. Because you don't want to get too happy, he said that translates to predator. And you don't want to get too sad and panicky because that translates to victim and dinner. So uh, just be like a cow when you encounter a snake. Oh, this is one of my, this one of my buddies out here. I'm the sheriff of this here town. I need to really work on my upper body a little bit. But I have a very nice trunk and a, well, a, well, I'm not sure if that's a, it might be a right inguinal hernia. Or incarceration can lead to terrible gangrene, systemic failure. So we're gonna get him. We're gonna, oh, wait a minute. Oh, no, it's just a Woody. 
<laughs> it's just a, it's just a <clears throat> I apologize you guys I get excited after the snakes and I make bad jokes oh his gun his gun fell over here's where I find snake number two there we go now he's set and he keeps one bullet in his pocket well basically if you hear this boy she either think of two people either Barney five or Mr. Furley from Three's Company, but if you're under 30, it's just some weird guy. <laughs>